let's define and explain probability terminology, likelihood, and experiments. So first things first, let's just talk about some uh, terms. So the word experiment is a planned operation with controlled conditions. So generally we pick some things of what's going to happen and then we do it, right? And a trial is a repetition of that experiment. Usually we have multiple trials because we want to like make sure things happen the same over and over so we can prove that it works um, or it doesn't work. An outcome is any possible result of an experiment. So an example, you are you and your friends, six people total, are playing a game with a pair of dice. Each person throws the dice one time and the results are recorded. Explain the experiment, trial, and possible outcomes. So the experiment is rolling the dice, right? This is what we're doing. The controlled thing is we have two dice. Each person is, is rolling at one time. A trial is one roll of the dice, right? That's what's happening and we're repeating it over and over. And the outcomes is the number that's shown on the dice. And because there are two dice, right, the smallest number that we could have is a two, right, one on each, and the largest number is a 12, right, six on each. So that's kind of the idea of experiment, trial, and outcome. Next, uh, we have sample space. So this would be the set of all possible outcomes. So when you think about rolling a die or rolling two dice, what are the, all of the outcomes that could happen? That's the sample space. The event is a, usually, well, no, it, it is. An event is a subset of the sample space of what could happen. Um, and the probability, usually we want to find the probability of an event. So the probability is measuring um, the, you know, the likelihood of an event happening. So probability of an event, so P of E there in the middle, um, it has to be between zero and one. Now likelihood is talking about like how likely is it for something to happen. So if the probability of A, event A, is zero, that means it cannot happen. A probability of zero is never happening, whereas a probability of one is always happening. So generally, probability is somewhere between zero and one. Very seldom is it zero and very seldom is it one. It's usually somewhere in between. So let's do one more example. You roll a single die, as shown in this little graphic here. Explain the sample space, the event A, which is rolling a four, the probability of four, and the likelihood of event A. So the sample space, if we're rolling a single die, what are the options? Well, we could roll a one, two, three, four, five, or six, because it's just a single die. So the sample space is all the possibilities when I roll that die. The event A, rolling a four, well, that's just a four, right? The event is saying, if I roll a four, that is event A. So what is the probability of rolling a four? Well, remember that probability is how many times what we want to happen on the numerator over the total possible outcomes. Well, we know in our sample space there are six possible outcomes, and a four is one of those. So the probability of A is one-sixth. Now, the likelihood of A, if we think of likelihood, right, is like basically the probability you're talking about this, once out of six, one sixth is like 16.7%. That's pretty low. So um, when we're thinking about 16-ish percent happening of rolling a four, it's not very likely to roll a four. It's equally likely to roll a five or a six because the probability of rolling any single number has the same theoretical probability if you are rolling a fair die and not something that's weighted. Um, so that's uh, some probability terminology.